His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. We are here uh, excited with, uh, we have a special guest with us. Who is that, Allison? Chris Wark. He was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer back in 2003 at the age of 26. He did have surgery for his cancer, but he decided not to do chemo. And instead, he really focused on his diet. He wrote this book called Chris Beat Cancer, which our very own Jim Mann has learned a lot from. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. So tell us why you chose not to do the chemo route, even though the doctors were insisting on it. Well, I had, you know, I was 26 years old. I had surgery and they told me I needed nine to 12 months of chemotherapy. And uh, initially I thought I would do it. I just assumed that's what I had to do. But, you know, I had an increasing internal resistance to it. My instincts, my intuition were telling me it was not for me and uh, I prayed about it and very soon after, I, I got information that sort of opened my eyes to the power of nutrition and the fact that the body creates cancer and the body can heal it if got, given the proper nutrition and care. And so I had this personal epiphany, which was the way I was living was killing me. And I realized I've got to change my life. If I want to get well, if I want to live, I want, if I want to survive and thrive, I've got to change my entire life. And I, I was excited about that. I was more excited about that than chemotherapy, which would make me more sick and uh, is very destructive to the body. So, you know, I don't tell people not to do chemotherapy. It's a personal choice uh, for everyone. But for me, I just sort of put it on the back burner. And I said, you know what, I, I need to change my life. I need to focus on health and healing. And we, we can, you know, discuss that later if what I'm doing doesn't help me. Wow. Yeah. Now I came across it. Of course, you know, I have a stage four melanoma, which is kind of going away. Yeah, yeah, yeah like cancer's is. going away. It's good. I took See some ya. aspirin. It's almost gone. <laughs> but uh, I came across you as I was looking through the internet. It's, that's kind of scary too, because when you find out about the cancer you have, it's you find out some scary stuff. Like they say, they yeah. told me like uh, I chances of me living past a year are kind of slim, stuff like that. I thought, okay, let's not go to those websites. So I came across yours. Uh, and you had a, something called Square One where you give information about what you've done and that kind of thing. And then you, right after that, you came out with this book, Chris Beat Cancer, which I mentioned the other day. And we got all kinds of phone calls and texts and uh, emails saying, what's the name of that book again? Crispy Cancer? Crispy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, so you probably are probably out of stock right now because of what we talked about. But, well, I hope so. I don't know. It's uh, they, we did print a lot of copies. Yeah. <laughs> so. well, you're the especially the first part. I'm thinking, man, is this guy a doctor? How do you know so much stuff? And I know you did a lot of research, but do you have background in nutrition? And I have no no formal education in medicine. I have no degrees whatsoever, other than a regular college business degree from 2001. Uh, but obsessive research, you know, obsessive research over the last 15 years. Uh, is how I learned everything I know about nutrition, health, healing, cancer prevention, the can- uh, the cancer industry. Um, yeah, I mean, there's we have this amazing resource uh, of called PubMed uh, of pretty much every published study in the world. And if you spend the time to go through and read and look at the research, which doctors aren't trained in, you can learn, right? And I've, what I've tried to do in the book is just condense that down so people understand that nutrition is powerful against cancer. I mean, it's incredible if you eat the right food. And that's a a diet that's predominantly plant-based, fruits and vegetables. The diet that's making us all sick is the fast food, processed food diet that's really high in meat and dairy, protein, sugar, fat, and salt. Well, Chris, you'd be proud of us because this morning uh, we tried your basic juice formula, which also includes beets, which I've never really bought these from the grocery store. I'm going to be honest. (laughs) Never bought a beet. Well, I bought them in a jar before. (laughs) Um, But I got to know, how did your family adjust to this new normal? Are they eating beets and everything, too, along with you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But it's, you know, again, it's been 15 years. So in the beginning, uh, everybody pretty much, most of my family members, people around me thought I was losing my mind. And my wife and I were basically newlyweds. And uh, it took some time, you know, for people around me to come around. But now, yeah, I mean, my wife and I and my kids, we're all on the same page. We all eat tons of fruits and vegetables, eat a plant-based diet. And uh, they're, we're all in sync, which is nice. Now, the important question that everybody asks is, what do you do for dessert? 
Uh, you, you know, I usually don't have a, a craving for dessert. I mean, I just, you know, I just eat a good meal and I'm satisfied. But fresh fruit is wonderful. You know, if you, if you have a little craving for something sweet after a meal, have some fruit, have some cantaloupe, have some oranges, have an apple, have grapes. You know, like fruit is awesome and it's delicious and it's so good for you. Um, so it's pretty easy solution, really. Yeah, I mean, I noticed like when... I eat a lot of sugar. I, I'm a skinny guy, and I can eat anything. And that's pretty much what I've done all my life, including a lot of sugar. But uh, I stopped sugar as soon as I got the diagnosis that it came back. That's what seven months ago, and uh, and I stopped cold turkey. Even made it through Christmas without those cookies. But uh, nice. I don't really have a craving at all for dessert. Every once in a while, they, when they make chocolate chip cookies at my house. Mm. That's a Those little difficult. Tempting. That's but, tough. <laughs> Those are tempting. But uh, I have an occasional chocolate chip cookie. It happens. Yes. Let me write that down. <laughs> awesome. Well, Chris Work, we've been talking to him. He's the author of a book, Chris Beat Cancer. And Chris, thank you for inspiring our very own Jim Mann to get healthy. You're welcome. What a pleasure. I'm so excited for you, Jim. Jim, and just keep up the good work, man. Well, thank you. I, I plan on sticking around for my family. I got four kids, and they act like they want me around, so... They still like you? Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been listening to or talking with Chris Wark with uh, Chris Beat Cancer. Not crispy cancer, but Chris, Chris Beat Cancer. If you want to see that again, you can go to our website, see the uh, video replay page. All the information is right there at hisradio.com.